wrong. Well, anyways, I always had a strong conviction about God being real, um, but I never really had a relationship with him until I trusted in him and what he did for me. Um, and that's when the real relationship happened. And um, I um, had to deal with the consequences of a sinful life, um, a sinful and wild life. And um, I really am so, not envious, but I'm so impressed that, you know, children that are raised up the right way. And I wish I would have been me, but I wasn't. And, and I have to... Um, I had to deal with the consequences of my sinful life, and and um, even now I still deal with that. But um, I have a victory over sin, and I have a new life. I have eternal life and abundant life. I have joy, and I have um, the power of the Holy Spirit in me ever since the day that I Amen. believed in God. Um, at a time where I really needed a Savior, I began going to um, a Baptist church and hearing the gospel preached and singing the hymns. And it affected me very deeply, um, but I still um, would not go forward to receive the Lord and what he did for me. And then I met uh, Pastor Randy at the track table in the mall, and he asked me if I was saved or not. And I couldn't answer him um, directly. And he, he told me, 1 John 1, 9, confess your sins to him who is faithful and just to forgive your sins and cleanse you of all unrighteousness. And the moment that he told me that, I knew then that that's what I needed. I needed to be cleansed of all unrighteousness. I wanted to be made brand new. I, I knew of Jesus, and I, I knew that, that he was able and, and willing to take me to the Father without fault and with joy. And um, I just never made the decision to, to call on him to be my Savior and be saved. And that night, um, I went home, and I, I told God that I was a sinner, that I repented of all my sin, and that I needed him to save me. I said, Lord, would you save me? And I saw him in, on the cross and what he did for me. And I received eternal life that moment. He gave it to me, and I received the Holy Spirit. And ever since then, I've had a fruit, fruitful life, like a tree planted in the in, um, in the river of, of waters. And I've been so fruitful now um, because of his grace. Um, and I'm so thankful to him for what he's done for me. I was able to um, lead Genesis to salvation and um, help lead um, two others since then. And I'm just so grateful for what God has done for my life and what he'll continue to do. And it was the best decision the best decision I ever made. I prolonged getting baptized, and I've um, come to see lately how, um, how how good it is to um, take advantage of every window of opportunity that God gives us. Yes, and right. now is the moment, um, not tomorrow or next year, but get baptized as soon as as soon as you can as an act of obedience, not of salvation. God saved me the day I trusted in Him. Amen. But um, I'm doing this as an act. Of obedience, I've uh, I've laid other things at, at um, his feet already, and I do this gladly to um, um, to to die in his death and, and to be risen up in his um, resurrection. And I'm just so thankful for this church and everybody here and this man here. I love this man. He's a great pastor. And, yes, um, amen. And I love all you guys here, and I'm so glad that you guys are witnesses. Thank you for supporting us. Amen. 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 Ready? All right, so based upon your profession of faith, I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, buried in the likeness of his death, risen in newness of life. 